you could easily spend 350 you can come back you're done girl you were spending so much how did you get that money welcome my beautiful people my royal squad back to my channel this is your queen angel <sighs> going on vacation as a broke college student let's get right into this video watch my previous video i went to greece for the summer well for the spring <laughs> to be honest when i was i was like calculating all my expenses i'm like huh where did i get the money but we're going to see in this video tip number one set a specific budget that to, that will work for you i set my budget of 500 pounds so when i said i did not set a budget i did not actually set a budget but i was like i'm just going to go with the flow and that's no good but set a budget so 500 pounds to be honest that's what i had that's what i kind of had using my student's overdraft tip number two book early in the year so this is a tip i got from my mom whenever she's going back to ghana she always books very early so if she's going in december she might book in june and even if you book in June, it was kind of be still expensive. January, <laughs> maybe January or even May, you know. Make sure you book early. The earlier you book it, the cheaper you get it. Because I guess there's not a high, as high a demand. So make sure you book early in the year. Tip number three, use sites that will incorporate both the flight and hotel deals. They have both flight and hotel deals. Like I was shocked that there were actual sites like that. There were sites like Expedia. I think I used kayak. Yes, we used kayak, me and my friend. Book your return flight. If you don't book your return flight, you're going to be stuck there. Because if your money gets finished over there, then what? Tip number four. Use voucher or Groupon. Oh my lord, guys. Like, after we had finished booking our tickets and everything, that's why I found that we could get a trip to Greece for even like £150 or so. And that's some for seven days for about 200 I was like, what? <sighs> yeah, guys. But make sure you go on those kind of sites first before you even do the deals I was talking about right now. Because we just looked into the deals. We did not look at watch and group on. When I looked at the hotel too, the hotels look good. Unless maybe you're good and then it's, a, it's all has come. <laughs> so yes, look at them hotels and see if everything is good. Tip number five. Put some money away for unwarranted circumstances. For instance, I had to pay £80 extra. Yes, on my train tickets. Or both going and coming it was 40 pounds but with our plane we took ryan air and it's come it could only take cabin bags which meant the bags would go in a plane so i cannot bring any liquids above 20 ml i don't remember but yeah and i brought my got to be spray and my glue because i was going to slay when you check my instagram you see that you get slayed <laughs> and i was like nah there's no way i'm i'm showing away my, my got to be spray and my glue uh-uh so yeah i had to send it along with me to greece and yeah i had to pay cash god bless me like as well i was able to afford that but make sure you put money aside Tip number six i'm sure if you go on vacation everybody will know this <laughs> like otherwise why are you going on the vacation but put some money away for food and entertainment and fun <laughs> yes so me i budgeted 150 150 pounds for food and they're like we did not really go much on entertainment on entertainment i would say when we went to the 90s cinema and it was just like 14 pounds so the rest, I guess, I spent all on food. <laughs> yeah, we chill. Like every, every night, going to different restaurants. This is good. Find out their exchange rate. Luckily, pound is almost like the highest exchange currency. When we went to Greece, they use euros. And pound, the pound is higher. So even when I withdrew, I withdrew the 150 pounds from the ATM in the Greece airport route. So even when we withdrew it, I think they only charged me like 120 something or 130 something. Because of the higher exchange rate of the pound so i was able to save some money yeah and i feel like i feel like they scammed me i could have gotten better but it's okay <laughs> number seven check with your network provider and check if there's any cost additional cost for roaming and the like for me i was lucky <laughs> like guys you can see i've actually never gone on vacation before because i don't know any of them but luckily my network provider is smarty and i was able to and i pay i pay like 10 pounds a month for the 30 gig um data and i was able to get it i was able to use it anyway even though i was in a different country and i didn't get additional costs on roaming but you might not be that lucky you might not be that blessed <laughs> so check with your network provider and see what other additional costs that may inquire Let's check in on the app so we took the ryan airplane and we had to check in i don't even know all this guy so my friend is the one who told me about the Ryan Air app and then she told me I should check in. So the moment we go, we don't need to stand on, on those long queues and check in. But we had to anyway because my bag, remember, the liquid. So I had to go and weigh. Yeah, my, my things too were over the limit. 
mind you. So we had to go away and we had to remove some things into my friend's bag. So now I'm going to speak on my expenses. It was not that expensive, but now when I checked it, it was like, girl, you were spending so much. How did you get that money? I easily spent 350. You can come back. You're done. So for flight was 132.33. And it was actually supposed to be 120.33 but with ryan and my friend said that yeah the leg room can be really <laughs> so she said that we should go for additional leg room and for the additional leg room going back and forth was 12 pounds so it um it went from 120.33 to um 132.33 and for the hotel it was 148.29 euros for both of us so and yeah yeah we took break breakfast and breakfast was six euros a day and we had three days so 18 came 18 euros wait the one for the 18 pounds is 128.57 and it's for one person is 64.285 so that's how much i paid so basically in total for the flight and the hotel it was 196.615 less than 200 for flights and hotel and that's that's boom that's great but that's not all. <laughs> guys so for food remember i said 150 so 150 pounds for food added to that additional expense of 80 pounds because of my bags added to that and birmingham hotel so i was in nottingham and we had to go to birmingham to take the plane so i took the train from nottingham to birmingham and we had to book like a cheap hotel that we sleep in for we did not even sleep guys we did not sleep so i went from nottingham to birmingham i arrived there at like 11 no 12 a.m and then we spent an hour in the hotel and <laughs> we walked to the airport because it was like one minute walk from the airport ibis hotel ibis budget and then we went to the airport at like two so what is the use of the hotel oh, guys it was, it was such a scam <laughs> it was actually a scam and guys the hotel was so bad but the hotel was about 100 pounds yeah 100 pounds so both of us 50 50 actually i think it was 99 so i, I put 49.5 and then before I was going, because your girl has not taken the box, I had to have a negative test. I had to have the travel PCR and guys, it was 50 pounds. Wow, I really spent a lot. Hmm. And since in total, it became 526.115. I kind of feel like we did not really budget well because I wanted comfort. If we budgeted well, I would not have had the additional cost with the um with paying 80 pounds. I wouldn't have had that. And I also wouldn't have had the travel PCR if I had taken the V and the birmingham hotel it was so useless you know we could have i could have just gone from nottingham to the place we did not really think of all that so guys you could literally cut down everything and then just have the 150 in addition to the 196.615 if we make the 196 200 200 plus 150 350 you could next video will be coming in one two but remember to like comment and subscribe follow your girl and all every network ever so you can get more tips on how to level up on a budget and I'll see you in the next video. Three.